everyone. Welcome to another Use It Up video. First off, I have a confession to make. We are making plans to go on another Disney trip and I still have not finished 2012. I was going to make it my goal before we went to finish 2012. And I'm thinking, I wonder if, sorry if you can hear my garbage truck, by the way, my windows are closed, but my room is by the front. So it is what it is. But, um, I not only have 2012 to finish, but I haven't even started 2013. I'm wondering, I kind of thought maybe possibly I could rock some layouts and finish 2012. I don't have that many more to go. The biggest thing to be would be to find all the pictures, but um, I just pulled this out and I didn't even realize it had uh, Disney pictures. So if you've been to Disney, you know this little Indian guys on Main Street. I have to be honest, I don't know anything about this Indian guy. Um, I'm going to make it a goal to learn next time though. Don't tell me because I don't want to know. I want to make it my goal to learn when we go this um, next time. We're planning on going in the next um, five or six months. So um, anyways, but we've always, I've always had my husband or somebody take a picture with him. And this time my son even got into the fun of playing. And um, so I've had these pictures in with this kit for a long time. This is another kit that I want to get used up. This is fancy pants. It looks like it's called the good life. Um, very old. I like that. Uh, these are total colors that could be used for Disney perfectly. I mean, black, yellow, and red. Come on, that's perfect. Uh, circle stickers, which I don't know if I'll use, but we'll see. It has some border stickers. I know I've done a layout or two with this before, but I have I done? I must have done at least one, I want to say. Oh, and look, I don't even know where I got this. This is not really my style. This, you know, like this pattern paper, I think it must have been in a kit. But look at the black. I mean, I could totally use the black. So when I'm done with this layout, I might see if I can pull any more Disney layouts out. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that paper. Oh, you probably can't even see. This is a really pretty color. I really, really like this. I might have to make that one work. But anyways, so um, this was from 2012. So yeah, it's time to get the, some of this used up. It looks like, again, this was back from when, look, this would be great for Disney too. This was back when I didn't do the best of shopping, which I've mentioned in videos before. And so it looks like, I think I bought this with the intention of using it for um, Disney because of the colors. I was trying to, you know, I don't always feel like it has to be the blacks and the reds and the whites. I love the way it looks, but sometimes, you know, in the pictures, you don't always, you're not always planned. These ones are, will work really good, but there's a lot of pictures with a lot of different colors in it. So I was trying to break out of the norm and trying to find something that would work for Disney other than just the regular. And it looks like what I'm thinking is I bought the pack because these are all nice, thick quality, uh, you know, as far as thick quality goes nowadays, anyways, um, thicker quality anyways, and double-sided. So, I mean, look at that. That'll be perfect for Disney. And if I don't use it, I'm going to put some of these into my stash. Um, but then here, you can tell this is supposed to be the same paper, but you can see, can you tell the difference? This is like, and these are single-sided and really kind of flimsy, um, but it was the same collection. So let me turn it over. So, I mean, there's a lot of neutrals in here that I'm really happy to put away in my stash instead of having it in my area of kits that I need to use up. So look, this is supposed to be a black and white. I never even noticed this when I bought it. But look at the difference. Look at the actual black. It's almost like a, I don't know, what do you, not a dark gray maybe, but I don't know. Here's this same one. So I think I might have even bought this thinking I could use it with these ones, but they're so kind of different. I mean, I don't know how well you can tell that in person, but this has really got, ah, uh, this is like a gray, and this is like almost a grayish brown, like a grayish, I guess they call it nowadays. But so that's interesting. I'm just going to flip through. Here's a red, but again, you can see the red from the flower and the difference. This is like not a real super deep red, and this one is. I'll still use it. I can still use these, even if not with this collection, another kit maybe, but I like this page. Again, this is very, it almost looks like these have been distressed or something, which they haven't. It just is kind of what it looks like. Um, Oh, like this is really pretty too. So this might be fun with these photos as well. Yeah, that would be 
that would be kind of fun. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you what it is I'm using and hopefully maybe I can dig out some of my Disney stuff and see if I can get it done before we go again. I'm not going to make any promises because with this channel, I never know which way I'm going to go. And I have so many, I'm at that point where I have so much that I'm excited to do and want to do that I'm over whelming myself with that stuff. Um, leave me a comment below if you've ever felt that way to where you just kind of don't do anything because you're so overwhelmed and excited about all this other stuff. And not to mention my daily life album, which I'm so far behind. I haven't even finished 2018, much less got caught up in 2018. But I'm going to do some videos on that and kind of give some tricks and tips for and pointers for anybody who might want to be interested in doing that. But I just wanted to show you, I'm going to use this up. I will do one layout, maybe. I don't know if I'll do any more, to be honest. Um, I don't really, I even threw in some things with this kit, like these buttons that I've had from a very long time ago um, that I got at a Creating Keepsakes convention, and they have little Mickey ears. I like the, these colors because they'll go really good with the colors of this kit, which is probably why I threw them in here. So there's one more two couple they're not white they're kind of grayish and then a teal and and then I have this and there's a few of these four by six cards I think I used to have a pad of these but um the pattern papers and stuff when I'm done with this kit I will cut up and to go into my daily life because I can use that anytime I mean it says stuff like the good life and there's a bicycle that can be used for anything. It's not a Disney kit. So if I, I also threw in a bunch of stuff in here that was kind of more Disney colored though, like the red buttons and stuff. Maybe that actually came with the kit. I don't know. Um, so, but the plain papers like this yellow one, I very well, instead of cutting it up, I might cut one up and put it in with the daily life stuff. And I might put the other one in with my yellow pattern paper. Although I usually like to have two in case I mount a double page layout. So I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll mention in the video when I'm doing the voiceover what I end up doing. So let's get scrapping. Let me find my photos before I restart the camera. And we will go from there. Thanks for watching. Here we go. Bye. Okay, so let's get started with the layout. And I'm showing you here that I'm following this sketch by Page Maps, and it was from their May 2019 sketches. And I really like how this layout turns out. I really rather follow the sketch kind of closely. Um, maybe where the embellishments are, I kind of wander off a little bit, but they have on their sketch a main piece of pattern paper that spans across the top, and then they also have three strips that kind of go down. And originally I was thinking I would put those into banners, but I was thinking that because I thought that's what they had on the sketch and I ended up not doing that. So you will see as we go along how it turns out. I would like to apologize. I have a little bit of a cold. So if you hear a pause or something, it's because I'm drinking coffee to try to not sound so crazy for you. Um, but I'm going to do my best to get through this so I can make sure to get some videos up for you guys. <clears throat> so also, I did end up doing two layouts with this kit. I was going to do more, but I just wasn't feeling the embellishments as much as I wanted to. So, um, but you will see that I have one more layout after this one with this kit. So you can kind of see there how it has the one strip across the top and then the three strips. I had originally cut that kind of tealish light teal color with the blue circles as for my strip across the top. But when I put it, I decided no white cardstock background. So first of all, I was proud about that. So I took that gray kind of polka dot paper that you can see there and I decided to use that as my background because it was a rather subtle background. Um, the colors are, it was light enough to be kind of like a white cardstock, but it wasn't. It was a pattern paper and so I was so excited to use that. So, um, but that first original teal paper with the circles was too many circles to go with the circles on the background paper. So uh, I, yeah, I didn't do that. So now I'm going to ink all my edges with my 
black close to my heart ink like I usually do. And for the strips, they have the strips all different sizes on the sketch. And I'm not measuring here. I'm just kind of putting them all in my cutter. I had originally cut that one down a little bit shorter and thought I would cut them all as I cut them. But um, I kind of just ended up cutting them all together in the end there. And I just kind of put them all together next to each other in the cutter to make sure that they weren't the same length. I really wanted to make sure that they did not span the same length. Um, after I ink my edges, I'm going to go ahead and start gluing everything down on my layout. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Sorry about that. I forgot to turn my phone off to do my voiceover. Um, the other thing that I did do, they also had kind of a scalloped border between this top strip and the main piece of paper. And I almost forgot to put it on here. You're going to see I'm going to start putting this cluster together and then I'm going to remember. You can see that I went ahead and used my scallop punch and it's just there to the right hand side. I think I even, did I forget to ink the edges of it this at this point? I might have. So I'm going to use my grid. At first I was not going to be too specific about how straight I, these were, but then it was kind of bugging me and I didn't really want these to be all crooked and weird and the rest of the layout to not be. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I decided just to use the lines on my mat um, to kind of help line them up. And here I'm looking for the other one. I had no idea. I don't even remember where I found it. It was, I'm looking everywhere for the third strip. It's like I just had it and yeah, it disappeared, but I found it underneath those pattern papers. It's just so funny to me that we can have something and it just disappears, kind of like the scissors when you're wrapping presents, right? So, <clears throat> again, I apologize about my voice. So, another thing they had that I was so happy that I remembered because it's one of the things I really liked and wanted to pull into this was they had some string or whatever you wanted to take from it. It, you know, obviously it's just a black and white picture, so it, you can use whatever you want. And I have, I believe this is crochet twine. So, I got that roll at Michael's. I think it was like maybe three, it was between three and four dollars, like three fifty or something like that. And I also used a coupon on it. So for that huge roll, I've had it for years. It's going to last me forever. I also got one that has kind of glitter on it and I really like those. So I kind of don't really use a lot of ribbons and stuff anymore ever since finding this twine stuff. And there was another person I watched and she's the one that got me onto this. And I can't remember her name at the moment, but um, I love this now. It's a little thin. So if you like some things that are a little thicker, you know, it doesn't work all the time. But if I have the chance, I will pull this out before pulling anything else out. So all I did was wrap it around um, a few times so that I will be able to tie a bow or a knot around it on the front. Um, you can hardly see it now, depending on what you're watching on probably, but um, yeah, so it's going to really just add a little bit of interest to the page and you will see how I also bring that around the layout in a few minutes. So this is basically how the layout is going to look. I am going to take my photos here and I'm going to mount them on this black piece of paper. And I'm going to use my perfect layer rulers, which I get a lot of questions about. So um, I'm not sure when this video will go up. Uh, it will either go up before or after this Wednesday. And this Wednesday, I have a new series that I'm starting. And it's going to be called, What Is It Wednesday? So just so you know, the very first thing that I am going to talk about is those rulers. So if you have any questions about those rulers, please check out. I can't add a link below because it's not uploaded yet. So here's a little story while I'm working on the layout. Um, nothing really big or exciting, but we recently changed uh, internet companies. I think it was like the end of July, middle of July. And then I didn't upload, you know, a lot of you know, I didn't do a whole lot of uploading in August. What did come up, I had pre, so pre-scheduled. So with YouTube, I, I think it's kind of a newer thing. I don't really know. Um, they have it so you can upload your videos, get them all ready to go, and then you can schedule a time for them to be open to the public. So a lot of the videos that you guys saw in August, I had already up ready to go preloaded. That's why I even had any videos. I'm so thankful that I got the videos up. So 
Um, <clears throat> we, well, between that, we changed internet companies. And according to my husband, the speed is, should only be like 5% difference. Well, if that's the case, that 5% makes a huge difference because I used to be able to upload multiple videos at one time and it might take an hour, maybe two. Now it takes forever, hours, three, four hours. It's amazing to me. And so it's, it's getting a little bit, I'm kind of having to kind of work around that and figure that out. And obviously the longer the video, the longer it takes to upload and uh, you know, I, there's other things that I have to do to before I upload it, like, you know, the thumbnails and stuff like that, which I haven't been the greatest about um, doing lately. I just I've I'm more wanting you guys to get the videos rather than worrying about the thumbnails and etc. I will get back into that. It's just not a priority at the moment. So, yeah, it's been insane how long it takes to get these videos up. So, but that one, the one that's going to show up on Wednesday is already ready to go up now because today, tomorrow will be October 1st. So it's the second it should be up. So I don't know if this video will go up before or after that, but anyways, just, just letting you guys kind of know a little behind the scenes, I guess, story. Um, you can kind of see what I've done with the layout to this point. I did have these stickers. I wanted to use these stickers. And at first I didn't really know what the title I wanted it to be. So I, like I said, I don't know a lot about this Indian, which again, please don't tell me. I want to find out on my own. Maybe he's just there for decoration. I don't know, but I want to find out. So please don't spoil. And if I go to Disneyland, can't figure it out, I'll come home and I'll beg you guys to tell me if there is more to know. But I use the little square alphabets and the colors, eh, meh. I'm not real crazy about the colors of the title, but I like how it turns out. And it's just a subtle little title and it just says Main Street because this is on Main Street, so works for me. This here on the very left is a three ring binder that I keep my Disney um kind of embellishments in. Nothing fancy about it. I have a few pocket pages with my enamel shapes that are Mickey head shapes or anything like that. I have a few of those, just like I do my small enamel storage, but this one is made to fit in this binder. And then in there's some sticker sheets with the wax on it, just like um, Janet with RTS does. So nothing new there. I'm sure almost every one of you knows. If you want to know more about it, let me know. But really, it's just the same thing. And in the very back, what I've started was I have a lot of the Echo Park and Simple Stories and whoever else makes the Disney, you know, um, collections. This one here is a collection that I had part of. I bought a kit from Scrapbook Generation and whatever was left because I'm not even gonna go into that, but I did kind of my own thing with the kit. So whatever was left of that kit, I went ahead and added into the back of the sticker book and I put them all together. They're divided by color. So this page you're looking at at the very left that you can see is kind of like the multicolor and then it'll go like red, blue, yellow, black, whatever. Um, just so you know. So I have all the Echo Park ones together because as I finish using up the other collections, I will take more of the Echo Park ones and put it in with the Echo Park. And then same thing, as I use up the Simple Stories, whatever's left, I'll put kind of in there, but it'll start this, the colors and stuff over. Maybe I might add the same colors in together. I don't know. Well, if when I get there, I'll let you guys know, but it'll be a while. So, um, yeah, so if you guys want to know more, that's fine. I'm fine with showing it. I got the idea to use the, to make a magic, a Disney one from Nicole and Lisa. We were talking one day about these sticker books and the wax paper and yada yada. And um, I don't know which one of those ladies said the whole Mickey or Disney book, but I, I love it. It's great because now I have all those in one section. Um, those buttons that you see that I'm using, I think I mentioned I got them at a Creating Keepsakes convention. So I did pull out a yellow one. I had some pulled out already, but I kind of wanted 
a different color so I went ahead and pulled out a yellow one and it actually worked it's actually not the yellow one it's more of the orange one but it looks yellow and right there you could see I just finally tied the knot on to that twine that I had put on there and now I'm just playing around with my embellishments um, my clusters I guess you would call them Gluing a few things down, I liked this little sticker that I am gluing down now because it kind of reminded me the, of the feathers, you know, from his head thing. I'm sorry, I don't even know what it's called at the moment. Um, but I, I thought it kind of went with that, even though that's not what it is. It kind of, that's what it made me think of. So that is why I used that there. And um, a lot of these stickers are, don't have the best of adhesive, obviously, so I'm just adding a little more adhesive, and which I always do, so nothing new there. Here is another thing that, another place I'm going to bring the twine around the page. And don't worry, I'm not going to show you me threading all these buttons, but I decided there was a couple black buttons, and they're small, sitting around over on the little pile of buttons on the right hand side so I decided I would go ahead and try using a few of those on the layout so I'm going to add this crochet twine I guess you call it and I'm just going to add a little bit to each the center of each of those buttons and I'm going to add a couple down in each little cluster um, I thought it would change now. It almost looks like the video never changed. Maybe I missed it, but I'm adding one or two around in each cluster. And then I'm just using a glue dot. I have three different sizes of glue dots. I love having the different sizes. Glue dots to me are like a girl's best friend because they are so simple and easy to use. So um, I have a large and they're fairly large. I don't know, not the size of a dime, but they're large. I have medium, which is I am um, a little smaller than maybe a pencil eraser and then the minis which are really um, smaller than that so I have all different sizes and I love it because for things like buttons and different things like that they're perfect and they're so easy to use as kind of one of the final finishing things what I'm doing here is there's a bunch of these word stickers you can see and this was part of the collection and I really was happy. I got quite a few of this, quite a bit of this collection used up. There is some stuff left over, but definitely a lot of the alphabets left over. But for what there was, I, I'm, I'm happy with what I got used up. So, and again, I'm going to get one more layout done with this still. So, um, yeah, so I'm just adding some of those word stickers around. I think that I might, I don't know if it's this layout or the next layout, but I might pull out maybe some other word stickers from since these word stickers aren't really disney related i'm going to look in my sticker book um again maybe that's the other layout that i do that on but uh yeah that's another thing that's nice to have these so another thing that i liked having that little sticker book beside me was the little stars and hearts and shapes like that Gosh, guys, I'm sorry. I really, I hope that I don't sound too horrible in this video. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to not talk, but talk at the same time. It's pretty funny. Um, yeah, so I'm just trying to get the get it up, though, because I got to get these up because the next couple days I will again be at the school helping out. So like I was mentioning, though, all the little stars and hearts that come on sticker sheets that a lot of times get looked over because they're small, at least I noticed that I kind of look them over sometimes. Um, I, they were there and a little more easier to see on the wax paper because it wasn't like this huge sheet of 500 stickers. They were all separated into like 20 stickers here, 20 stickers there, and obviously not that many. You know, I'm exaggerating, but... So that was one thing I really enjoyed about having the leftover pieces put in that little sticker book there. So um, I did feel like that area above the twine and below the photos needed something. So I just took a sticker. Oh, and let me tell you about these things. So these are something new. Um, I am going to do a What Is It Wednesday about these. So if you have more questions, just be patient. I will kind of mention here though that these are called peel offs. P P E E L peel offs. And they are 
from a company called Love From Lizzie. So I watch another YouTuber and she makes cards. She doesn't do any scrapbooking, but she uses these on her cards all the time. And I liked them, but I'm gonna straight out, be straight out with you. They are, are made in another country. And so shipping is like, I never looked it up, but she mentioned that a lot of people were complaining about the shipping. So, um, sorry, I hope that's not noisy. Um, I never ordered them, but then one day the, they were having a sale on the shipping and it was free shipping if you ordered like 20 of these sheets. And these sheets are like $1.60 each. I think they're only a dollar, between one and two dollars. I'm not sure if they're all the same or if they're a little bit different because there's different styles and stuff. But they're just like these strips. And I want to say Creative Memories used to have strip stickers somewhat simpler, similar. But this is my first layout I'm actually using them on. And so, so far they just, they're very subtle because they're smaller and thinner. They do have like three different widths on there, which again, I will talk more about when I do my What Is It Wednesday video on them. But I just wanted to kind of throw those out there because I know I'm gonna get questions on that. So um, yeah, keep an eye out. If I hear of another sale, I'll let you guys know if it's something that you guys are interested in. So. Last thing I thought to do was maybe look through my enamel shapes. I just kind of wanted to add something a little more to each cluster, like enamel shape wise, or I wasn't originally, I think, thinking enamel shapes. I did pull out instead some of these embellishments by Queen and Company. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is take my Nouveau drops here, and I'm just gonna put three little dots around in little areas all around the layout. And I will apologize again, there is no still shot photos at the end, but I, again, I'm just trying to get these up. I will get back to taking the photos and everything, um, but let me get caught up on my channel first before I can do all that. And then once I'm caught up, I won't worry some about it so much more. So I wanna thank everybody for watching. Again, I hope my voice wasn't too horrible. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you like the layout. All right, we will see you next time, bye.